Hey guys, it's Rain Blood back again with another video. Here to do my review of WWE Fast Lane 2017. <sighs> guys, pardon my French, but this show was fucking terrible. Seriously. I was actually looking forward to the show going in. But you know what? It'd be easier to explain like how much the so sh the show sucked. I might just get on with this review. And honestly, I feel like I've been like making my reviews for wrestling shows way too long. So I want to just try and get through each match this time, and hopefully uh, this video doesn't turn out to be any longer than ten minutes. So. I'm going to get on to the show, guys, this terrible show, and we'll start with the pre-show match, and this was one of the best matches of the night, guys, and holy crap, I can't believe I'm actually saying that. The pre-show match, tag team match, um, we have Rich Swan and Kira Tuzawa versus the Brian Kendrick and Noam Dar. Now, this was a really good cruiserweight match going in. I don't know why, guys, but I just had a feeling that Brian Kendrick and Noam Dar were going to win. They didn't. Kira Cesar and Rich Swan got the win. Congrats to them. Um, this match was just under 10 minutes. They did some really cool high-flying stuff, and I really liked this match. And, yeah. And uh, Rich Swan especially, that dude's impressing me. Like, I'm really liking what um, he's doing right now, and... I'm a big fan of Kira Tozawa and Brian Kendrick as well, uh, especially when watching those guys in the indies, you know, and Noam Dar, I uh, never heard of him until uh, um, until this match was announced, so whatever, a really good pre-show match, uh, good fun, and um, yeah, then the show officially starts, and we get on to and we opened with my most anticipated match of the night. And this match was really disappointing, guys. This match, this match wasn't even 10 minutes. Can you even call this a match, like, seriously? Oh, but that, that, this match is Sami Zayn versus Samoa Joe. I'm a huge Samoa Joe fan. And I'm also a huge Sami Zayn fan. And they did some cool stuff. But really... The match was really just leading up to a squash. You had Samoa Joe, like, have, um, have Sami Zayn in the whatever that sleep hold type movie does at the end. And then Sami Zayn's knocked out. Like, like that's just anticlimactic. Like, instead of adding the two bullshit matches, Jinder Mahal, Cesaro, and Rusev Big Show, you could have had this match like extend to like 20 minutes and you could have had an epic show stealer but no we have to put more crap on this show just because seriously oh my god match was disappointing it was okay for what it was I was so excited for this match and it didn't turn out that great then we have the next match WWE Raw Tag Team Championship match Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson Defending against Enzo Amore and Big Cass. This was alright. You know, pretty much just a generic pay-per-view tag team match. What you'd expect, you know. Um, uh, it's Yeah, this match is exactly what you'd expect. Except for the ending. There was a shocking, uh, weird ending. Uh, oh, how did it end? Uh, I think Carl uh, Anderson... Uh, I don't know, one of the guys from the defending team pinned um, Enzo Mori, but Enzo put his foot on the bottom rope, and the ref didn't see it, so the ref counted to three anyway, and that was, and that sucked. Like, seriously. Um, but, whatever. Um, I suppose... This means this feud is going to continue on to WrestleMania. And, um, uh, thing is, um, 
It's probably going to be made into like a triple threat tag team match with Sheamus and Cesaro, which be which would be cool, I suppose. But whatever, that's that that would be another generic tag match. But yeah, moving on. Sasha Banks versus Nia Jax. Yeah, I thought their Royal Rumble match was a squash. This match was, um, this match was not actually Sasha Banks. Came prepared this time, and um, and uh, she uh, defeated Nia Jax. Yeah, she did a ton of sleeper holds on her, and did the bank statement, and but Nia Jax got out of those, and Sasha Banks did like a roll up to pin Nia Jax, and yeah, good for her, but the match was just another way of a match. Seriously, then we have. The first BS match of the night, and guys, I gotta tell you something. In the pre-show, uh, Jinder Mahal was being a crybaby bitch to Mick Foley, saying, um, "I don't want to be part of tag team anymore." Whatever. And then Rusev comes in. Uh, they both want matches on the main show or whatever, and they both got these two um, singles matches. Just, just a waste of time. Seriously, who cares about these matches? No one. Seriously, Jinder Mahal will always be a jobber. All he ever was, all he'll ever be. And he had a pretty careless match against Cesaro. I wasn't even watching it. Uh, Cesaro won, who cares? And then the match after that, Rusev versus Big Show. Uh, Big Show defeated Rusev. And uh, the ending to this match was cool, I'll give it that. Because uh, Big Show did three choke slams. And then he pop propped uh, Rusev into the bottom rope corner for some reason. Then did the knockout punch. Goes for the pin. One, two, three. So, yeah. Um, but then we have the next match. And this was probably the tied for the match of the night for with the Raw Women's Championship match, in my opinion. Uh, we have the WWE Cruiserweight Championship match, Never vs. Jack Gallagher. This was match the night, and it wasn't even like a spectacular match. Nowhere near. Um, oh, like I said, tied for the women's championship match, but whatever. Um, these guys did a lot of really. Oh, sorry, the match was WWE Cruiserweight Championship match. Neville defeated Jack Gallagher. Now this match was really good. You had a uh, a lot of high flying moves and stuff. You have um, like a lot of um cool offense from each wrestler fought outside the ring I think which was cool for a little bit and Neville we all thought he uh, defunct this finisher but he actually did it Red Arrow that was awesome when he did it especially as a heel Neville retains cool really good match really good match then we have the next match another really disappointing match I was looking forward to this match honestly uh, but the ending surprised me. I'll get to that. Roman Reigns versus Braun Strowman. This match was pretty slow, but had a few surprises along the way. Um, had some offense in there. Uh, they fly outside the ring a bit, um, which was cool. Strowman, uh, what do you call it? Uh, took the announce table covers off, which was cool. And he. And he put Roman Reigns through the table, did like Oklahoma Slam. That was awesome. Uh, well, it was well. I always like seeing table spots, but maybe it wasn't awesome because I I thought it could have been done a little bit better. Like maybe if you showed it from a different angle, that would have been cool. And um, Reigns is on. I right, and then here's how the match ends. Reigns is lying on his back. Uh, Braun Strowman goes to the top rope. Does it like a splash off the top rope? He misses Reigns, and I think Reigns does a spear, pins him. One, two, three. Braun Strowman builds up as a dominant beast. Roman Reigns defeated him. Good for Roman. I actually kind of wanted Roman to win, which um, which would have been cool. Um, and Undertaker didn't come out, which was uh, weird, because uh, like I could have sworn I heard reports that Undertaker was backstage at this show, but yeah. Whatever. Then we have the next match after this. Um, tied for match of the night, like I said, with the Cruiserweight Championship match. 
uh, Bailey defending against Charlotte Flair. This was a really good match. I didn't like it as much as the Royal Rumble match personally, but I really liked it. Um, pretty much what you expect. Some good technical moves here and there. Sasha Banks came in trying to help Bailey out. Cool. Then um. Then um. Um. Damn. Um, oh yeah, then she, then Bailey did her finisher to show on the outside of the ring, uh, just after Sasha Banks tried to interfere, and then, um, they get back in the ring, Charlotte's mad at Sasha Banks, of course, Bailey does another one of her finishers, pins her one, two, three, Charlotte's pay-per-view streak has come to an end, finally, which, um, which I thought they would have saved for WrestleMania. That would have made perfect sense. But still a really good match here. Um, will Charlotte win at WrestleMania? I feel like that is extremely likely at this point. But um, yeah, yeah, I, I love Charlotte, guys. I was a bit upset she didn't win here, but um, but yeah, you know. It's kind of like satisfying to see that streak come to an end, but yeah. Now we're going to the main event, the WWE Universal Championship match. Kevin Owens defending against Goldberg. And I, uh, I accidentally made like a typo in Word, so. Yep. Alright. And so the show was almost to an end, right? Um, Goldberg comes out, does his awesome entrance, then Kevin Owens comes out, he's reluctant to do the match, the ring announcer does, like, her, her thing, and, um, Kevin Owens, before the match starts, Kevin Owens keeps going in and out of the ring, he did this for so long, I'm, I'm not even gonna count, it was so annoying to me personally, <sighs> And Kevin Owens went back in the ring. Um, eventually, took him forever to get back in the ring. Then he, um, then he's like, ring the bell, ring the bell, I'm ready to fight Goldberg. And then Chris Jericho's music hits, and you guys know um, uh, Chris Jericho and Kevin Owens' uh, friendship tag team partnership ended when Kevin Owens attacked Chris Jericho. So that's why Jericho came out. The bell rings as Jericho's coming out. Goldberg does a spear on Kevin Owens. Picks him up. Does the jackhammer. Boom. One, two, three. Your new Universal Champion, Goldberg. That was awesome. I, I, I know a lot of people are pissed about it. But I like... I think it's the right way to go. To have Goldberg as Universal Champion. Because let's be real, guys. The Universal Championship doesn't really feel that legit of a world title and um and uh so Goldberg will be defending the Universal Championship against Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 33 um here's the thing guys that match does not need the Universal title but the Universal title needs Brock Lesnar Goldberg you know what I see? You, you know what I mean? So, I feel like that's just how they gotta legitimize it, you know? So, yeah. Um, two good matches. Neville Jack Gallagher and Bailey Charlotte. Everything else, okay to garbage. Um, this show was awful. Way worse than... I expected. I was. I actually. I was actually looking forward to the show. But. And uh, I wasn't a fan of Elimination Chamber ever. Uh, I wasn't a fan of Elimination Chamber either. But I'm a little bit scared for WrestleMania. But I'm putting faith in. 
WrestleMania will be an awesome show, guys. The matches that are building up to it so far have been getting me excited. And it's going to be epic, hopefully. WWE have made us think it would be crap before. And it ended up being awesome. So this is their chance to do that again. Anyway, um, wow, this review ended up being 15 minutes instead of 10. Which is a lot better than, like, 19 minutes or, like, 30 minutes. So, yeah, that was my review of Fastlane, everyone. Um, can't wait for WrestleMania. And take care, guys.